Plot twist, Warren Buffett admits a mistake and shocks the market by buying all 21 million Bitcoin. Meanwhile, Capital One eyes a deal with Discover Financial Services. Stay tuned as we unravel the unexpected moves reshaping the financial landscape. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and let's start. And we're starting off with the amount of energy necessary to successfully hijack the Bitcoin network is far beyond the reach of any single organization or nation state. Since the Bitcoin network consensus really uh, rules cannot be un, uh, un, un literally changed, it is most likely that all players will simply adapt to its rules. As the old adage says, if you can't beat them, join them, clip from uh, this guy was the sailor. So let's go for more. Breaking news, Bitcoin mining difficulty just hit a new all-time high and it continues to grow because we have 60 days still left till the Halloween begins. Wall Street hasn't realized that MicroStrategy is literally printing money to buy Bitcoin, rinse and repeat. I'm expecting some more Genesis GBTC selling tomorrow, a little over $1 billion held currently. The good news? The new ETF could match or exceed with inflows in 1-2 to two trading days. A new Bitcoin ultimate is coming, don't fight the inevitable. Retail is being traditional retail right now, dumping Bitcoin into the hands of the institutions and thanking God they could get out at break even or near break even, only to come rushing back in to buy it back after all time high in the FOMO era of it all. So I wish this one psychological pattern would end, a lot more people would be a lot richer. If you said this entire bear market shit posting and buying some sats, take a moment and pat yourself on the back for actually believing in something bigger than ourselves. May the self-fulfilling prophecy continue meeting our convictions with the Bitcoin. Almost anyone can be a Bitcoin millionaire for $520. Here's how. One Bitcoin is made up of 100 million Satoshis. 1 million Satoshis is 0.01 .01 Bitcoin. 1 million Satoshis cost 520 USD. Within the three Bitcoin cycles, I think one Satoshi will be worth around the 1 plus cent, meaning your $520 investment is worth $10,000 plus. One Satoshi is currently worth a fraction of a penny, and you can buy 1,400 Satoshis Satoshis for one Canadian dollar, 1900 for one dollar. You don't need to buy them all at once. Satoshis can be thought of as a digital token. Satoshis provide utility in multiple ways. Store value. So the best known way that Satoshi provide utility is by being a store of value. You can hold Satoshis for as long as you would like. The network will never issue more than 2.1 quadrillion Satoshis. The buying power of the Satoshi will increase over time because one Satoshi will always be one Satoshi. As the supply of Satoshi can never increase. If your store uh, your wealth and Satoshis and you know your wealth won't be lost to inflation, you'll likely be able to buy more goods with the same amount of Satoshis in a few years. And a fee to use the Bitcoin network. The second way that Satoshi can be used is by being paid as fee to move Satoshis from one address to another on the Bitcoin blockchain. This can be tied in with. Medium of exchange. The third way the Satoshi can be used is in a medium of exchange. Today we use US dollar around the world as a medium of exchange because most of the world trusts that they will be valuable tomorrow. As more individuals understand and use Satoshi as a store of value and see an increase in their buying power, they will spend their Satoshi on the goods and services they want or need. Unit of account. As more of the world's liquid wealth moves from the US dollar financial market into the Bitcoin, we will see more merchants and raw materials providers using Bitcoin as their unit of account because in Satoshi's prices decrease over time. This means happier customers. How happy would you be if the cost of your groceries decreased over time and more business? Fifth, transfer and receive information. So Bitcoin can be used to transfer and receive information like comments, files and documents as the Bitcoin software is recording of every transaction that ever happened and you can inscribe a Satoshi with information and send it to anyone who has access to the internet. Nobody can change the information recorded on the software as the record, uh, uh, records are immutable and in the future inscribed Satoshi can be used to transfer deeds, identification, etc. 
insurance. Satoshis can also almost be seen as insurance against the collapse of this legacy system, and if financial institutions go bankrupt, we have a way to transact without them. If government can't be trusted to protect our property rights due to the negative intent, the Bitcoin network can be relied on to store the most accurate information, and over time as the network becomes more decentralized, we see wider adoption and if we need more use cases, we will see the value of Satoshis increase. The next one we go for is actually Coinbase's Bitcoin supply plunges to lowest since 2015 after 18,000 Bitcoin withdrawal. And that's huge. Bitcoin most impulsive bull run is around the corner and in the past cycle the narrower the weekly moving average 100 and moving average 200, uh, the more impulsive the bull run I tend to believe that since this moving average is recently crossed for the first time in Bitcoin history, this bull run will be the most impulsive ever since. And also, banks and stocks market are closed today, so spot Bitcoin ETFs are not trading. But Bitcoin never closes and you can always trade it. And the main topic of today's video, Warren Buffett's Backed Capital One uh, Miles Buying Discover Financial Services. So Warren Buffett Backed Capital One is reportedly planning to buy Discover Financial Services. And according to a report by Reuters, the two firms could enter into a deal soon in the foreseeable future. Capital One to potentially buy Discover Financial Services. So Reuters reported citing a person with knowledge of the situation that Capital One, an online consumer bank and credit card issuer supported by investor Warren Buffett, is thinking about buying credit card provider Discover Financial Services, as the report further states that a deal might be announced as early as Tuesday, however the terms were not disclosed. LSEG data shows that Discover Financial has a market capitalization of $27 billion, while Capital One is valued at $52 billion. So Capital One and Discover Financial Services, crypto venture is likely to benefit. Both Capital One and Discover Financial Services have some exposure to digital assets offerings and at the present, Capital One helps its customers access the cryptocurrency market even though it does not offer Bitcoin trading services directly. Holders of Capital One accounts can safely move USD to authorized and regulated cryptocurrency exchanges. As taking a progressive approach to cryptocurrencies, Capital One aligns its services with top US financial agencies regulating frameworks. This includes the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, uh, FinCEN. So even Discover Financial Services had previously tried to venture into the digital asset realm by appointing Alexandra Prodomas, the new product manager for blockchain and digital currency Discover Financial, was hired by the company in an attempt to plan the trajectory of hoping onto the crypto bandwagon. Discover at the time was looking for a manager to lead the development of a new products into the crypto field and it also sought uh, to improve the company's capabilities there and find a new payment products through research. The deal, if it goes through, could see a new development for the crypto-using customers of the companies, and a potential acquisition leads to a consolidation of crypto offerings and even the launch of the new products by the firm. That's all the information we got on today's video, and if you are interested in more, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next one, and peace.